the course is for perioperative medicine and it's a 12-week course, one evening per week. It's being run by experienced physicians and anaesthetists who have an interest in the area of perioperative medicine, uh, really optimising the medical care of patients before and after surgery. The course covers over the 12 weeks? Well, it's become really quite apparent for those who care for patients uh, during and after their surgery that patients are getting older and sicker and their medical conditions are becoming more and more complex with a whole range of new medications. At the same time, an expanded list of types of surgery and other interventional procedures. And that's really quite a challenge for those looking after people coming in for such procedures. And we do know that if they're uh, in better condition before the procedure starts and well looked after afterwards, then their outcomes are much more. Uh, it's clear to me that there is an increasing need and role for improved perioperative medicine. And this is exemplified by the uh, growing number of pre-admission clinics that are, are now being set up in hospitals. Uh, I imagine uh, in the near future that these clinics will be run by more experienced and, and uh, interested clinicians, anaesthetists, uh, perhaps GPs, perhaps physicians and or surgeons uh, who've got special training in this area. So there really is, I think, a growing, growing need for, for well-trained and experienced staff. Uh, and certainly there'll be a lot more clinics in the future. I think the people who get the... I think most importantly, of course, would be uh, anaesthetists who really are challenged on some occasions by the complexity of some of the medical conditions and the treatments being used in our patients. But I think it extends beyond that. I think it should include uh, general practitioners who are, have patients on their list who are under, undergoing major surgery and perhaps need to look after them in the months that follow. Uh, as well as physicians, uh, particularly those working in hospitals and with an interest in perioperative care and some who might like to work in a pre-admission clinic. It also includes surgeons, uh, emergency physicians, uh, uh, even intensive care physicians who'd like to get a better understanding of, uh, of some of these medical conditions.